Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial, we're going to be building the Panzerkampfwagen for Alf's G. This again is a 1.5 to 1 scale vehicle, still a bit new to me. It'll, and as such, it will sort of require the use of a debug stick, which is a vanilla command. And also custom heads really wouldn't hurt either, and I will leave all the commands you need in the description. The banner, uh, is for the road wheel banners, they are a bit complicated, but uh, the recipe is, you know, right on screen, so pause it and have at it. I might also put the command for the banner also in the, in the description below. So, anyway, uh, let's get to the tutorial. Starting with the ground layer, we're going to take some black wool. Make sure you have everything lined up. And we're going to dig one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight uh, blocks. Skip two blocks and do the same thing over here. And fill it in with black wool. So that would be the uh, floor layer done for the lower tracks. And we'll continue it. So place two, place your blocks right off the first black wool. And put down two nether brick upside down stairs. And in between these, to bridge it with uh, some smooth sandstone slabs. I just want to make sure I have the count right since it, the distance is a bit far. Because someone had the great idea to put a count spell either. To put a Falcon 9 kind of right there, so the noontime shadow really does not help much as you can see. Anyway. Okay, yep, I have it right. So, with that all done, moving on. We're going to take the sand cell slabs, move it all the way, actually almost all the way. So that should be seven out, missing the back. And on it, we're going to, all right, place one dark oak right here, and a birch sign right off to the side. We're then going to take our birch trapdoors. And these ones are going to take all the way to the back. Uh, yep. Okay. Just like so. And we're going to put all the banners down. Next, we're going to grab a cobweb and an item frame. And the item frame. Alright, alright, alright. All right, so item frame down on the last uh, trapdoor. Like so. And last but not least, we actually want to make that look like the trap is, uh, the track is wrapping around, placing a dark book sign right at the back. So, first layer done. Moving on to the second, we need some snow. Light gray stained glass pane, smooth sandstone, smooth sandstone blocks. Uh, uh, I'll do for now. Okay, so first, we're going to layer two snow on top of three, or actually three to each side. Just like so. Then two sandstone stairs, glass pane to each side. And just like we did for the T72 uh, tutorial, we're going to do all the debug stuff right at the uh, end. So, bear with me. For the uh, smooth sandstone blocks, we're going to take it all the way back to the slabs. To back the slab. And I believe there will be... Yeah. Two more panes, and then one to each side. Then going to take... One more. We'll need a wall right here. Right, place the wall down so you should have snow, two panes, then a wall. I'm going to need for spare road wheel holders, what I'm guessing these things are. We'll need some birch stairs and an oak sign. So for now, we're just going to have these two 
facing towards each other like that, or away from each other rather. Now, uh, technically this was only on one side of the vehicle, but what the heck, it looks good, so I'm, I just put it on both sides, so you can take it off of one side if you would like. But we'll just cover it up with two oak signs, put the item frame down on the stair, and inside of it, just some, just a smooth sandstone. Actually, that should be... It might, might be better as a stone block, actually, thinking back on it. So, quick change here. So we want to place the stone in the item frame instead. Now, moving on back, we're going to finish up the hull. Two fence gates down like so. Right with the actually, uh, so we're going to rather do the debug stuff after we finish each layer. So let's get right to it. East. Whoops. I uh, want this set to west. This one set to east. So they are facing inward. Should have a very nice, almost flat look. These ones we want north and west. Oh, sorry, um, north and north and south. And we also want to set up to false so it has a more smooth look to it. These ones are going to be uh, the shape, inner left, there we go, and of course mirror on the other side. Now we're just going to make these two connect real quick. Should be set to south. True. Alright. So, moving on to almost the final layer here. So we're going to start by placing down the blocks so we've got a good base to work off of. So, place down two uh, smooth sandstone blocks right on the uh, which is going to be the um, third set of blocks right here, although the looks can throw you off because this is a half, basically, as it's a stair. So watch out for that. Next we're going to take for the front smooth hands on stairs, like gray stained glass pane. And of course for now, we're just going to have these two smooth stair racing like so. Put down a placer block and for you can use a skeleton skull if you don't have access for, to the proper commands in place. But it's just going to look like that. Put, put down two item frames right on the face of the turret and put a light gray stained glass pane. Now for the barrel itself. So I did, I used world edit for this barrel. So if you don't have access to that, we're going to get ourselves a barrier. My spelling is A plus today. There we go. Alright, and just on either side, we're going to go out with one, two, and three. Yep. Just like that. Be two signs and a dark oak sign. As such. Now, so a quick world edit tutorial. If you're a bit new to it, I guess, we can just set this to air. and just place the signs on the other side. But the bear still does work as well. So once you have all that in place, I'm going to uh, take some light gray stained glass. Whoops, uh, yeah, we gotta forget about that. So place one right off the block and then in front of it towards the stair. I'm going to reset this up, false, we should set to north, tall, south, tall. There we go. Uh, Alright, moving on back. So this should be the final layer of the blocks right here. Just two more. And we're going to place, or going to need rather, birch trapdoors. Birch stairs. Birch button. And basically we're just putting the finishing layer on it. So 
So moving on, we're going to take our daily, oops, our, our birch trap door, flipped upwards on the blocks we previously just placed down. And at the back, just like the front, two birch stairs. Plus we're going to put the roof in roof layer in first, so the um, uh, block states won't update and revert to their original positions. So basically all of that place. Now we're going to take our magic wand and get to it. So this should be set. Yep, west true. We need east true. This one is just going to be facing south, I believe. Never mind, north. I built these backwards basically on in another area, so the north south kind of switched. So yeah. Here we go. Alright, so finally facing north true. Oh, and of course these blocks important shape. Uh, want them inner left and of course the other one mirrored at inner right. Perfecto. Moving on towards the back, we're going to do the exact same thing. And the engine deck right here, just a rail and a birch button. So last but not least, to give the commander cupola a bit more shape, we're actually, for now, we'll have tall. Uh, I don't think we actually need that, so we can leave that to low. Right now we just need north and south, like such, and up false, which should do it, I believe. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.